Hello guys, welcome to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Civil Engineering updates. So today our topic is the strength ductility of grade 60 as well as the grade 40 and the strength ductility property of both the steel. The two which one is more ductile material grade 40 or grade 60 or which one is more strength and why they have more ductility and why they have more strength right so first i have to um, describe the strength uh the strength of this material and how it's related to the uh to the grade strength as we know that the strength is uh, equal to the tensile load coming on uh, coming on the steel bar divided by the area of the steel bar we call it the strength generally represented in the units of ksi kip per square inch right so this was the definition of strength if a bar if this steel bar ever has been pulled out uh, in the UTM universal testing machine so uh, dividing the, the load which we applied by the area so we get the tensile strength and KSI unit right so now what is the relation to have more strength there is a main factor uh, although there are some other factors but one of the main factor in the strength is the uh, number of carbons number of carbon content right number of carbon content this is one of the most important factor in defining the strength of the uh, grades, uh, grades of the steels. For example, the more number of content have make the structure having more, uh, having make the steel bars having more strength, right? So number of carbon content is in direct relation with the number of carbon is in direct relation with the strength. That means if if a manufacturing uh, company uh, uses the more number of carbon content than at the steel bars may have the more more strength so there's a really quiet relation between these two uh, parts uh, is always the carbon content define the strength of the steel bars so the grade 60 steel I'm going to show you the grade 60 the grade 60 means that it has the uh, yield strength of 60 ksi the yield strength yield strength and it has the ultimate strength of ultimate strength is almost 90 ksi at which it breaks so this is a grade 60 it means it is grade 60 so it is 60 ksi strength it means that it has more number of content as compared to the grade 40 why this is the grade 40 why because the grade 40 has less number of content carbon content that's why its strength is 40 ksi right uh, let's i have to define it clearly here the grade 14 grade 60 is a grade 60 and this is the grade 40. the grade 60 has tensile strength of 60 ksi and the maximum ultimate strength of 90 ksi while the grade 40 has the uh, yield strength of 40 ksi while the ultimate strength of 70 ksi so it is the more strength more tensile strength and it is the low, tens low, low tensile strength of grade 40 why because the number of content in this grade 40 is less as compared to the grade 60 as we defined earlier that the strength is mostly related with the number of carbon content so the more number of content we have in a steel bar so it will have more strength so that's why grade 4 grade 60 is more strength because it is more number of carbon content in, a, in its crystalline structure while grade 40 has less number of carbon content that's why we have the low tensile strength of grade 40. so now let's compare the ductility that which one is more ductile because the ductility is the other property of a steel bar and uh, it's a very important property ductility ductility is a property of a body uh, which are uh, which it uh, for example i'm showing it by graph and uh, this is the strain and this is the stress so if a steel bar is pulled out and if it's going yield and after yield it's going ultimate and then coming again down so it is more ductile material because it is going more under the plastic deformation i also uploaded the video about the plastic uh, modulus so you can watch this video to clear your ductility definition 
but but in this case it is more going into the plastic deformation this is a plastic deformation stage but this is elastic deformation stage elastic while the this one is the plastic so if a body is going more into the plastic deformation we call it is the more ductile material for example if I'm, uh, this is a, I take a, this is an example of a material and if I'm or pulling it out, 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 and it deforms more into plastically, so it means there's a more ductile material. While there's a material which, uh, by loading, it just pulled out directly, it means there's a brittle material. It doesn't go into the more plastic deformation, so it is a, a brittle material. So this was the definition of ductile material, that if it uh, material goes more into the plastic deformation, we call, uh, we call this material the ductile material. Now the grade 14, grade 16. The grade 60 and grade 40. The grade 60, grade 60 means that it is 60 key size st yield strength. But now, this grade 60 has low ductility as compared to the grade 40 steel. It's 40 key size yield strength, but it is low ductile. Less ductile material, we can say less ductile material, while this is more ductile material. Why? The reason is, what is the reason behind this? This is because of the carbon content. The more the number of carbon content, the more the strength, but the more the number of content, the less will be the ductility. So this grade 60 has more number of content, right? More number of carbon contents. So it makes it the more strength, more strength, but it will have the less ductility because it's inversely proportion. Similarly, the grade 40, it is the least number of carbon content because it is less strength. Less number of carbon content, so it is less strength. Tensile strength is less as compared to the grade 60, and, but it is more ductility. Why more ductility? Because uh, the number of carb carbon content is less, so it is the more ductility of grade 40, right? So this was the very important topic, the, the strength and ductility of the grade 40 and the grade 60. They are more, mostly used in our daily life construction projects. So it was a very important to discuss these uh, two. All right, if you have any question, uh, you can comment. Uh, we will get to you as soon as possible. And uh, thank you for watching our video. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos.